forecast for June 2024. So June, they tell us that in the modern day calendar that June is the sixth month. And of course, if that's true, then we're working with the vibration of six, which is about focusing in on the smaller details, especially when it comes to the greater, grander plan, the greater, grander goal and vision and dream that we're trying to manifest. Of course, it's also going to require us to take a good look at our bad habits where it is that we could break some of these bad habits, especially where our mental thinking is concerned, being in Gemini season. And we really need to build new habits, new routines, if you will, tapping into a new willpower, new discipline in order for us to stay the course, in order for us to blaze through the blockages, the challenges, the obstacles that we know we're going to face as we attempt to initiate a new path in a new direction towards a new goal, new vision, new dream. Of course, Gemini season is the third zodiac sign. So we're also dealing with the vibration of three if we're going by the zodiac calendar. Three is the mental plane. It is the way that we think. It is the way that we're speaking. It is the way that we are understanding the world around us. Because we're in Gemini season coming into June, we are definitely being challenged to override our thinking, to really open up our minds, to really consider some different options different perspective, if you will, in order for us to arrive at a new understanding. Now, we are going to see a little bit of fire energy kind of fuel the fire blazing us into June because the moon is just shifting into Aries energy as June begins. So we're in a brand new lunar cycle, brand new emotional cycle. We're all fired up. We're ready to go. But again, we don't have the clarity that we were hoping for. We will not be gaining that clarity. We will not be as well informed as we need to be to make important decisions and make important choices and align with a new path and a new direction until basically Gemini season comes to an end. And of course, whatever it is that we are leaning towards is what we're locking in when the sun moves into cancer energy, triggering that solstice. That is a karmic locking in, if you will, of what it is that we're going to be working on building towards over this next karmic chapter that will be taking us into the fall. So of course, there is an acceleration in time. There is a lot of options, a lot of opportunities coming at us throughout the month of June to really kind of take on a different path, a different goal. And because of that, this new version of self with new wants, needs, and desires, we have to open up our mental plane. So we kick things off in June on June 3rd when Mercury, ruler over the Gemini season, ruler over mental plane, ruler over the information and communication and how it is that we express ourselves actually moving into Gemini energy into his rulership. So of course, this is going to add to the pressure, the intensity in the mental plane, bring us a totally different perspective, help us process, sort through some of the recent events, some of the new information and details coming at us. And so we're definitely in for a little bit of a mind F, if I do say so myself. We we are also going to be weeding away, if you will, the options, the opportunities, the details, the information that's no longer in alignment with what it is that we want to do and want to pursue. June 6th, we have the new moon in Gemini popping off at 16 degrees, halfway point of a mission that we started this time last year. Of course, the halfway point means that we're still divided. Think back to this time last year, what options you chose from, what choices and decisions you locked in. And now looking back on that, are you still in alignment with that particular quest? It's okay if the answer is no. Gemini season is a pivot point and we are definitely gaining a lot of information, a lot of knowledge on where it is that we have to walk away from certain aspects and of course walk closer to some very new ones. The new moon in Gemini definitely going to challenge us in our mental plane. Again, dark phase of the moon, things kind of hit the fan, so to speak, in order for us to realize what it is that we no longer want, no longer want to do, no longer want to pursue, no longer want to experience. We use that as a framework to figure out what it is that we would like to have instead. And that becomes the new moon seed intentions that we are going to plant in our awareness for us to actively be working towards. 
June 9th, we have Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, even our anger, moving out of his rulership in Aries energy, which I honestly think is going to help many of us kind of calm down a tad. We are going to see Mars move into Taurus energy. So first of all, Mars's time in his rulership was very, I'm going to say, restless and frustrating and agitating. And there was this underlying anger that kind of, you know, brought the worst parts of each and every single one of us out to play. We thought we were going to have more options and opportunities to take action and make moves in the physical realm than we were actually given because a lot of that work was needed on the inside. Mars and Taurus energy, a fixed earth sign and Venus's rulership, definitely going to soothe us, calm us down, ground us out, slow the pace. Now, granted, we are very deliberate with our energy, our intention, our actions in this Taurus energy. We will be making some progress. However, it is going to be very low, very slow, very steady paced. Again, flashback to Taurus season. Remind yourself what how slow the pace actually was. This is Mars, the warrior energy, just trucking forward, but only taking one solid step at a time. So a little bit of restlessness, a little bit of frustration can definitely fester up, but we are also going to be making some very steady progress, not only towards stabilizing our inner realm of emotions, but actually taking steps in a new path, in a new direction, as small and steady as they may be. Fast forward to the 17th. This is where the energy is going to start popping off, getting a little bit cray cray. Why? First of all, we have two events popping off on the same day. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, moving into Cancer energy. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, also moving into Cancer energy. Our heart and our head are working together, but we're moving into Cancer energy. A water sign, so things are going to get emotional. Here's the thing. We're being provided with options and opportunities while these particular planets are moving through the Gemini energy. Gemini energy has us divided between choices and decisions. So whatever it is that we arrive at, whatever choice point, decision point, path, direction, project, goal, vision, dream that we actually want to pursue at the end of this Gemini energy will likely be something new and exciting. Problem is cancer energy very attached to the past. We have a very strong hold on trying to keep things the same old, same old, even though we know that it's going against our growth and our evolvement. There's a lot of nostalgia that pops up. There's a lot of inner child wounds that pop up. We're dealing with the mother role as far as nurturing, either the lack of nurturing that we receive from our mothers or the lack of nurturing that we're actually giving ourselves. It's time for us to boss up in that mothering role in order for us to address our heart and head and where it is that we're lacking certain comfort, certain safeties, certain securities. The 20th, the sun moves into Cancer. This triggers the solstice. This is why time speeds up. This is why there's an intensity around that 17th, not only because Venus and Mercury are on the move, but we're within orb of this solstice gateway. So again, whatever it is that we end up at, arrive at, choose, decide, are leaning towards at the end of Gemini season, we're locking in. That's the new foundation that we're going to be stabilizing and strengthening and building upon as we move into the fall. Cancer season in its totality is a time to recognize the new foundations that need to be built in order to encourage and support us to not only protect what it is that we've already built, but to continue to pursue new wants, new needs, new desires, new dreams, new visions, especially to make us feel a little bit more safe, a little bit more stable, a little bit more secure. We don't get into cancer season very far. We have a full moon in Capricorn popping off on the 21st. Now, fun fact, I'm going to rewind you to this time last year. We actually had two full moon in Capricorns. One was at a zero degree. The other one was at a 29th degree, both karmic degrees. The full moon is a full illumination, a full releasing point, a full purging point of information, of emotion, of aspects, that are no longer going to support us in our goal, in our mission, in our dream. Capricorn energy is about the structures of our lives. 
the power, the authority that we have to have over our lives in order to align with our long-term goals, our long-term visions. Because the Capricorn energy is also very strong in manifesting, we have a beautiful opportunity, especially coming out of Gemini energy, dipping into Cancer energy, understanding where we want to go, where we want to improve, where we want to advance, and recognizing the aspects that are still in existence, alive and well in our physical realms, in our realities, that may actually block us from pursuing this new path. At a one degree, this is a fairly brand new chapter, again, kind of stemming off of some of the decisions that we made this time last year. And we are definitely going to be bossing up to new roles and responsibilities that this new karmic chapter that we just locked in will require us to stand in fully. The last thing that we have going on this month is on the 29th, Saturn, the Lord of Karma, will be going retrograde at 19 degrees in Pisces energy. So first of all, Saturn, when going retrograde, it's time for us to rebuild our inner realm. There's going to be tests, exams, activations and triggers thrown at us out in the external realm that we're not going to have control over. What we do have control over is our ability to move inward to redesign, restructure how we see things, how we feel about things, how we understand things. We have to tap into a new willpower, a new discipline in order to change the way that we're operating in our energy, in our vibration, in our frequency, especially when we don't have control to change the aspects in our external realm. Because this is Pisces energy, we're definitely going to be doing some releasing, some purging, some healing, some transformation in our inner realm, especially where our intuition, our spirituality is concerned, and where our new dreams and visions are popping off, inspiring us to boss up in our inner realm, become the version of ourselves that we need to be to be a vibratory match for the dreams, the visions that we're now looking to manifest. Of course, Saturn going retrograde will carry us into the fall. Side note, huge fall energies coming at us. Eclipse season. We have all the heavy hitting planets coming out of their retrogrades. And we are definitely going to see the foundation that we're locking in, the karmic chapters that we will be working on as we move into the solstice energy unfold in a very dramatic way to a breaking point that we will all be experiencing in the fall. But let's just concentrate on June. And of course, June has a lot of peak opportunities for us to reach new highs, not only in our mental plane, not only in our emotions, but in our actual physical experiences. There's going to be some unexpected events thrown our way to challenge us, especially to see both sides of the coin, to understand two different perspectives and hold two different opinions at the exact same time. We have to find that merging point, that middle point, that balance point, and then we have to build in it. Again, that cancer energy is gonna be focusing in on the foundation that we now need to create out of the choice points that we will arrive at as Gemini season comes to a close. So that is a brief summary of what we have coming at us here in June. If you're ready, let's take a deep dive and let's unpack each astro shift as it comes. <laughs> 